Uh, um, dear Derry. But, oh. Hey. Um, you know that thing I did the other day where I was playing um, Neverwinter and realized suddenly that it was 2.30 in the morning and I needed to go to bed? It is 2.34. <laughs> Sunday morning. We've been playing in the ESO beta for several hours now. But it's fun, sort of. I mean, it's fun, yes. But they've changed some things that I may not necessarily like. I, I, was, I was actually streaming earlier today. Oh my god, I'm streaming to Twitch. I decided, you know what, I'll give it a shot. I'll see if this, this streaming thing is as, as easy as it looks. It's not. The hardest part for me is remembering to talk to my audience because <laughs> there's there's living people sitting there watching you do this. And sometimes I forget that they're there, especially if I'm, uh, say, <laughs> looting through urns and crates and baskets and barrels because I'm a kind of a completionist. And a little bit anal retentive, I have to make sure that I've I've looked in every container to make sure that I've got all the stuff that's that's there, that's anywhere, that's blah blah blah. Well, um, that is not necessarily exciting for people who are watching it. So, yeah, gotta be careful with that in the future. But I I didn't sit there and not talk to them for extended periods of time, which is what I was worried I was going to do. So it was all right. Um, the things that they've changed that I do like, like if you're going through Cold Harbor, which is the very beginning, if you're going through Cold Harbor, it used to be that when you get towards the end, right before you escape, you and the Prophet escape out of Cold Harbor, it used to be that there was a, um, a big, I mean, this huge visage of Molag Ball would appear and he's like, you know, blah, 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 kill them. And like this big Medusa chick would show up and slithering towards you and start kicking your ass. And the, um, the prophet is healing you while you're supposed to fight the thing. Well, she's not there anymore. And this time it's not just an image of Molag Ball. It's Molag Ball comes climbing up out of the thing. And it's like, that is significantly more scary. Because he's here. It's, it's not just a projection of his image. That's freaking Moloch Ball right there. Um, so I was a little worried. I was like, wait a minute. I'm not going to have to fight him, am I? Because I'm level one. Maybe level two at best. I don't know about this. Um, but it turns out you just had to fight like two little guys and then like this this big bone construct called a bone child comes climbing up out of the floor and you got to kill him so that was that was much more cool there is still the problem that it is way too easy to escape from cold harbor i mean if molag ball is supposed to be this super big badass guy why is it so easy to get away from him I mean, i killed maybe eight ten guys on my way out I mean, between my cell and the point where the prophet and I are <laughs> up we go. Maybe ten little minion people, possibly. Um, it just makes Molag Ball seem a little bit impotent, I guess. You know, that it's that easy for people to get out. Uh, um, and you can't say, well, it's because you're you're... You're the chosen one by the prophet. Well, so is everybody else. You know, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's apparently not that big of a deal. Um, anyway, so, but it's still, it's still kind of fun. One of the things that they changed that I don't like is because, well, is that um, as you're going through, it used to be that you, you get in like the third or fourth room and... There's all these weapons. There's racks of weapons there. 
there's bows and axes and hammers and staves and swords and shields and you know you're you're going in there and this you know one of the Argonian guys is like you know pick a weapon and let's go but don't be greedy we've got a lot of people to arm you know and you could go in and pick you know if you knew you wanted to be like a ranger type you know you could grab a bow if you knew you wanted to be like a big you know two-handed you grab a two-handed sword you could go sword and shield if you wanted. You got to choose from the beginning what you wanted to do, and that was really cool. Now, it's just a sword. That's all that's there. And that's the only thing you can take, the one sword. You get no choice. And that kind of bothers me a little bit, because it takes that that choice away from the player. What if I don't want to be, you know, a, a sword casting guy? What if I'm a, I'm a mage? You know what? If, what if I'm a sorcerer? Why do I? Why am I being forced to take this sword? I mean, I think we we were we were talking about it on our way out to get pizza earlier. I think I know what it is. Um, it's the fact that you can now one if you've been through Cold Harbor once, if you've already played through it one time, on your account you can skip it if you want, and you go to kind of the starter, sit well not the starter city. You go to your first major city. And then you can take a boat or something back to the starter island, not to the tutorial thing, which is escaping from Cold, uh, Cold Harbor, but to the intermission, the, the intermediate point between Cold Harbor and the first main city. Um, you can take a boat back there. So you just kind of skip everything. The problem with skipping everything is that you wind up in an area where everything is level five. And you are, I think they up, I think they just, you know, artificially bump you up to level three, I think. So you can, you can kill a level five creature. You just have to be careful about it. And you tend to, you know, um, gain levels pretty quickly when you're fighting something that strong, if you're careful. But like I said, you can backtrack, you know, on the boat and go back to the other thing. But then you're, you've still got to find, I mean, you have no points in anything. Um, you have to find or make a, let's say you wanted to be a, a mage and have like a staff thing. You would have to either find or make a staff, which if you've got, you know, some maple, you can do that. But if you don't, what are you going to do? How are you going to, I mean, I'm sure there's still some work that they need to do on it, but, uh, mm, I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, did my first kind of stream today. It was fun. It was fun. I'm, I may, may, may do more of it. I don't know. Um, I've got a bunch of other stuff I need to do. Um, but for right now, it is almost 2.45, and I'm really freaking tired. So I'm going to... Oh, just, that looks lovely right there, doesn't it? Let's just tuck that flag away. There we go, that's better. That's another reason why I have my hat on is that I've had my headphones on so much today. My hair is doing this this thing where it's, it's horrible. No, I'm not going to show you. As soon as I get up, I'm taking a shower. I'm washing. I'm going to scrub my hair off because it is so... Just, it, for whatever reason, wearing my headphones just makes my hair really greasy. I don't understand why. Anyway, I'm going to go to bed. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow for Sunday, even though it's kind of technically a Sunday today. But we'll call this Saturdays. And I will do Sunday, and as usual, I will record Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. And then I will have the next three days to just record voiceover stuff. Which I, sometimes I forget what color my ceiling is. It's kind of this green color. Sometimes it throws me off. Anyway. Uh, I could show you. I can show you. I'm going to show you. Everybody hold still. Hang on to something. I'm just going to pivot the camera up and show you. See, it's kind of that, that green color craziness up there. Right. So come on back down here. Okay. I shh, shut up, stupid chair. I'm going to go to bed and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Well, later today. <laughs> Until then, be careless.